In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire a 4 or 5 pin relay with a negative trigger wire. Oh yeah! Now what is a relay? And why the heck do you need one? Well, I'm going to tell you. The purpose of a relay is to control a lot of electricity with a little tiny switch. Now, if you were to run a lot of electricity through a switch, you would melt a switch. Because a lot of switches are only meant for like 5 amps. But most accessories on a car are much more than that. Like a radiator fan might be 30 amps and a fuel pump might be 20 amps. So if you were to run all that power through a little tiny switch, you'd burn out the switch. On the other hand, a relay is actually meant to handle much more electricity. So what you're doing is you have this switch which controls this relay and it tells the electricity to turn on and off. And it can handle a lot more electricity than this little tiny switch can. Let's start with pin 30 and 86 on the relay. That's the blue wire and the white wire. You're gonna combine those together and then feed them power from the battery with a fuse in between. The size of the fuse will depend on the accessory that you're trying to power. Each different accessory will actually pull a different amount of amperage, so you'll have to look at the specs of your fuel pump or your radiator fan or your lights or whatever you're trying to power up to find out how many amps it will draw, and then you'll base your fuse size on that. Next on the list is pin 87 on the relay. That's the yellow wire. Now that wire goes out to whatever your accessory is. In this case, it's a 194 light bulb. But for you, it might be a fuel pump, it might be a radiator fan, it might be a set of headlights. The other side of the accessory will be a ground. Now in this case, I've just grounded all of my grounds together, but you can ground it on the frame or on the body, wherever a good ground is, you'll ground your accessory to that. Last on the list is pin 85. Now that's the black wire right here. 85 goes over to your switch. And like I said, this is a negative trigger relay. So the trigger wire for the relay is on the negative side rather than the positive. If you want to see a positive trigger relay, you can check out my other video, which I'll link at the end of this one. But in this case, it's a negative tr trigger relay. So what we want to do is control the relay itself through the negative wire. So what you'll do is you'll have the wire coming out of the relay to a switch and then over to a ground. Very nice.